Hi everyone, my name is Glenford and I'm an educator here at OMSI. I'm in our physics lab today to talk to you a little bit about social distancing. Why is it so important? Well, here I have an activity for you to help you understand a little bit more about how that works. Here I have set up a small community of dominoes where each domino represents a person. This community is a very close, tight-knit community, uh, which is great for everyday life, but it can lead to some risks. Let's see what happens when we roll this ball through our domino community. Now let's do some scientific observation of our community. Uh, we can see here the path that the ball took right through the community, and the dominoes that were right next to that path were obviously affected by the ball rolling through. However, if we look at these outer areas, there are a lot of other dominoes that have fallen over, and they were affected not directly by the ball, but by the close proximity to their neighbors. Now let's try this one more time, but we'll change one thing about the community, the distance between the neighbors. In the second scenario, we have our domino community set up in the same way, except they are spread out a bit more to represent social distancing. We're gonna perform the same experiment as before. We're gonna roll the ball through and see what happens. Observation time. We can see that the ball took the same path through this community and did still knock over the dominoes in its path. However, a lot of the dominoes are still standing, particularly those that are on the outside. This is a great activity that shows how social distancing can benefit the whole community, and I encourage you to try this at home with dominoes, with books, DVD cases, whatever you have lying around your house. Try it over and over again, count up the numbers, compare results, and have fun.